What's going on, young lady? How are you? I'm great. How you doing? I'm good. What's your name and where you from? My name is Sierra Cunningham, and I'm from Manor, North oh, Carolina. Okay. I was about to say you had to give me your real name, but hey, it's too late now. <laughs> okay. You from where? Manor, North Carolina. Mayberry. Oh, you from Manor? Mm -hmm. Mayberry? Mm -hmm. Where Andy Griffin show was at? Yeah. Is, is that true? Yeah. The Andy Griffin show was really filmed in Manor? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Old oh, Mayberry. Yeah. What was going on? What, what you doing in Greensboro? Uh, I grew up here, son. Oh, you did? I grew up in Jamestown. In Jamestown. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good neighborhood. That's, how was, so, how was your. Uh, the childhood growing up in Jamestown? Uh, a little rough. Uh, I grew up with my dad and my brother mainly, so... Your mom wasn't there? No. Um, my mom was on drugs and drinking real bad, so my dad took me and my brother away when I was two. And it was just me and him. And I really wasn't a good child growing up. I guess the black sheep you call it. So... My brother would get all the love, and I'd get ignored and shit, so I just really was mistreated and beat every day. Beat? Your father was beating y'all? Beating just me. You don't think it was, 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 it, was it him mistreating you, or was you just being bad? Or both? Both. <laughs> Probably both? Both. Dang, it gotta be rough. Yeah. Um, it's like you'll be daddy's, daddy's little girl. Yeah, I am. I'm exactly my dad. I look just like him and everything. Like, same shit. Um, but anyway, yeah. He would always have women in and out of his life and be with their children instead of me and shit. And it was rough. Yeah, moving with different family members back and forth all the time. And then I finally moved in with my mom when I was like 15 mm -hmm. and lived with her for about two years until she passed away in 2016. Yeah. And then I got kicked out when I was 18. I was 18. Mm -hmm. So um, let's back up a little bit. Um, did you finish school? How, what, kind, what kind of student was you in school? Um, I really wasn't good in school too much. I was stayed to myself mostly and then I dropped out started doing drugs around what time what, what grade was this sophomore sophomore year mm -hmm. um, had an older boyfriend so what you mean I was, by older I was 16 and he was 23 oh, okay yeah, so I was always worried about what the fuck he was doing and where he's at, who he's with, and so I was never going to school. And um, never got into trouble, really. Yeah. So um, you say you was around sophomore year when you started um, using drugs. What was your What was the first drug you used? Spice. Spike, what, what is that? K2. Oh, K2, it's like the fake fake marijuana type thing? I am. The potpourri. What you do with that? You smoke it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what did it do to you? Trip. Make you trip out? Bad trips. Like accident? Like, like me talking to you, but you're like dead and decaying. Yeah, right. Swear to God. Ain't no way. Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's bad. Dang. Like zombie type shit. K2 do that? Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, it's a different trip for everybody. Yeah, so um, how long did you do that before you, you know, progress to other things? Three years. Okay, so when you're around 20 years old, you start doing other, other things? Yeah. Like what? Methamphetamine and um, heroin and fentanyl. All at the same time? Yeah. Around, around the same, same, same year? I would say... When you say you start doing meth first? Yeah. That's the upper? Yeah. And then you start doing fit and all and heroin, which is a downer. Yeah. So you you more addicted to the uppers or the downers? Mostly the downers because my body depends on it. Okay, cause so it's, it's a physical dependent. Yeah. The heroin and the, and the fit and all, if you don't get that, you'd be sick and bones yeah. aching and things like that. And how I got on that was I couldn't get any pain pills. Cause my, I had my wisdom teeth. I still have my wisdom teeth. And... Um, couldn't get no pain pills, so I was like, closest thing that's gonna do anything is heroin. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna need it for just a couple of days. 
Right. And then after a couple of days came by, she still was hurting and still was hurting. And I think it was like two weeks. It had stopped. And I had found out my girlfriend at the time was smoking it. Because I hit a crack pipe one time. She said what now? I hit a crack pipe one time. With crack on it? Yeah. Uh huh. And I was like, this tasted funny. <laughs> um, what'd you put on here? She's like, nothing, 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 nothing. It's just, it's, it's, it's just how we cooked it. I'm like, okay, I've done this once or twice before. It was a whole different. It tastes like this. Yeah. And then I seen her like starting to nod up. I'm like, I smacked her. I'm like, you are on dope. So then my body just started to depend on it more and more and I couldn't never get off of it. Wow. That's, I heard it a lot. Like other people always tricking people to um, fitting all against their will, like pitting it in something. Or, you Everybody's know. cutting it. Yeah. Different drugs. Yeah, with yeah. It. right. A Everything. Lot, yeah, a lot of people out here are saying they buying Perk 30, but the Perk 30 is really fitting all pills. It's wild out here. So, um, you, current, you still using? I am. Well, all of it, the crack and the fentanyl and the heroin, all of it? Crack, um, just the methamphetamines and the fentanyl. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Dang, so what's some, um, what's some of the damaging consequences behind that lifestyle? <sighs> Losing everybody you love and need, that's really the main thing main thing. I lost my son because of it. I was using while I was pregnant. And DSS took your son? No, uh, my family friend has him. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> how do you feel about that? I mean, do, do, you, do you ever think about getting yourself together so you can get your son back? All the time. All the time? Yeah. Daily. So, I would ask you what is one of your biggest regrets, but I'm pretty sure that's, that is that would be one of your biggest regrets right now. Starting heroin. Start with heroin? Really? How was, how was the sickness? How was, how was the sickness on heroin? No words can explain it. No words can explain it? No, it's... It's like all your organs shutting down slowly. <sighs> one by one. One by one. I don't even want to breathe when I'm sick. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> it's it's like, rough. Is that rough? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um... What do, you do, what do you do to support your, uh, your your addiction? I turn tricks. You turn tricks. I escort. So you you selling when I yourself? Need to. You selling yourself? Mm -hmm. How much? Top and bottom. What do you mean? You know, Top like some people bottom. do oral sex. Some people have yeah. have you know Top vagina and sex. Top and bottom. Oh yeah. How much you charge? Uh, hundred and quick. One hundred. One fifty a half and two an hour. Golly. You should be rich then. You should, you, so, I wish. So where you staying at? Oh, where I can. You homeless? I am. You make all that money and you still homeless? I don't make that much money no more. You make I've that much money no more? Ten years. Been here ten years. I barely can catch a client. Everybody know you. They've been through you. Mm -hmm. Is that dangerous? Like you ever Not had any? Not only that, but you know, people I've been with and and their actions upon what I'm doing, like reviews and shit. Oh, okay. So. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Is you ever thought that uh, you ever caught any diseases, anything like that out there? I have. Oh yeah. I got pregnant because of it. You said your son was born. Mm-hmm. Okay. He'll be two in May. Okay. Your son biracial. Yep. Is he? Mm -hmm. I just figured that. Mm -hmm. I just guessed that on top of my head. I'm not all the way white. What color? Are you? You, uh, look, you look. You look. Philippine you look. You look white. white. You look Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot too. I mean, well, like, what's wrong with being white these days? Like, dang. Yeah. Like, you know, like most black people, most black people, they want uh, all of them said they got in and in them. What? And now, now all of a sudden, that's, that's how I used to be. I don't know how it is now, but yeah, all black people swear they got in and in them. <laughs> now, uh, er everybody I talk to that's white, that's a yeah. hundred percent white, they say, "Oh, I'm mixed." <laughs> you, you, you white. But anyway, let's move but no, on. No, I'm foreign. My grandma looks full Filipino. What y'all think? Really what y'all think? Y'all think she white? Yeah, the, the blue green eyes, you <laughs> white. But anyway, let's move on. So, um, listen. 
my battery friend go dead, so we're gonna end this. We're gonna make this a short interview. So if, just in case there's any kids, adolescents, um, um, or a grown person that's thinking about choosing the lifestyle that you chose, tell them, tell them how the lifestyle is. What, how is the lifestyle out here addicted to these drugs, just living on the street? How is it? Like, what, what's going? What is it? What is it? It's a constant struggle, constant struggle. Um, not knowing where you're gonna be day to day and waking up depending on something, like, it really sucks. I wish I could have done things differently. Tell me about the dangers. <laughs> the um, dangers of selling yourself, the dangers of sleeping on the street. I've had guns put to me and my money stolen and beaten and tied up before it's it's extremely extremely dangerous not knowing not knowing the other person that's on the other side of the door and then letting them in it's it's, it's one yes yeah, it goes through my mind every time right like I, I pray that please don't let him hurt me or please don't let me get anything don't let this rubber pop I get it yeah I get it and it's, it's excellent advice too um Uh, hopefully, if I see you again, you'll be in a better place. You'll be solid in your recovery. You've been you've been worked on yourself and got your son back. And you find you somewhere to stay because that homeless lifestyle and that, and that, that additional lifestyle for a female by herself out here, it is dangerous. It's lonely. And, you, and it's lonely and it's dangerous. And you're blessed to be alive. A lot of females don't 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 last 10, 15 years out here on the street like that, addicted to that shit. You feel me? Don't let it break you. Let don't it let it make break you. you. Don't let it make you all break. You. Right? Is that right? How it go? Well, uh, I understand. Yeah, go. but I, go. I look at it as it like let it make you stronger and like who you are to become. Like I have a tattoo on my leg. It says, "Remember who you are." from the Lion King, and uh, that makes me think about like not only who I once was mm -hmm. without the drugs, but who I am becoming and going to become all through all the lessons you learned yes that's great that's what's going on well i got a donation for you man god bless you and i know you're gonna do better thank you you're welcome Let's go.